guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. We've been making so much progress in this game lately, guys. For example, on Tuesday, we did a stream where we completed a few more chapters in Uncanny Legends. And now we're at Behemoth's Peak. This is where we're gonna unlock the next legend unit in the game, Elder Beast Nala. So according to the wiki guys, this is not that bad of a chapter unless you don't have good surge immune units. And I have tons of good surge immune units, so it should be no problem. First up, we've got Fountain of Memories. As you may already know, I like to look these stages up in advance to see what's in them so I don't waste any energy. And this one really doesn't look that bad. There's a Mr. Murr in there, but who cares about Mr. Murr? Not me. Last loadout I was using is this one. Uh, probably not ideal right now. I'm gonna take a couple of things out. And I'm thinking it might be nice if we had at least one anti-zombie unit. I think Shigong will probably do the trick for that. As for the Aku guys, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. I think we might actually just wanna have like Pizza Cat in here because Pizza Cat has that wave attack and uh, if he hits something and pierces the shield, the wave attack usually takes care of the enemy, which is really nice. So get in there Pizza Cat and let's win the first level. Fountain of Memories. What you got for me? They're gonna say, oh, I was gonna say they're gonna send out some Akus first, but no. Is that two? That's that's two zombies right on top of each other. It looks like one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I have a feeling that I'm gonna end up losing. Like if anything touches my base now, I'm doomed. <laughs> it's all good, right? It's all good. It's not all good, guys. They are coming for me. They are so close. Oh, okay, we're, we're okay, we're okay. I have 9,000 health left on the base, that is not good. Okay, that's not a ton of health. Mr. Murr is garbage though, which is nice. I guess he just has like a ton of health. That's probably his only, uh, his only positive characteristic. Cause like, we're hitting him a lot. Pizza's hitting him. We got the, uh, the bullet train hitting him. Whatever, dude. Okay, he died, finally. I think I'm gonna take out Fonoa now. Guys, Fonoa is a savage. He just got hit by uh, by the Clional, but like, his range is ridiculous, okay? Like, he carried me through some of the chapters that I just completed in Uncanny Legends, and it was magnificent. Come on, dude, like, how much health do you even have? You just got knocked back so many times and you're still not dead. Give me a break, there we go. Okay, I knew that level was gonna be easy, guys. I can't say the same for the rest of them, yet. All right, next up, Chaotic Pulse. Only four enemies in this one. And they're all Aku. I don't know if that's a good thing, to be honest. So I should probably have some anti-Aku stuff here, maybe even some shield piercing. We shall see. So I'm not really sure what I do and don't need here, guys. I don't know if Weed Whacker will even help, but it can freeze Aku, so I'm gonna try it. Fiend Cat is always good for knocking back Aku. This guy's also massive damage to Aku. But I don't like, I don't wanna go too crazy, man. Like I feel like, I feel like pizza would be good here, so I don't really wanna get rid of pizza, but I like my wave attacks. How about we get rid of Gao, leave in Fonoa. Okay, we're gonna try this. Love the Aku Doge, guys, because of its ability to 1v1 my uh, slime and have both things die. It's just, it's just so fun to watch. Kill everything so I can go boom. All right, uh, and now we have this guy coming. I was supposed to bring Kai to this, and I didn't, and I feel like that was a big mistake. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe we, maybe we make it out alive. You know, maybe we got that long-range attack right here that might just do the job. Maybe we got the fiend that can knock him back a little bit. No, because we can't get that shield pierced. That's the problem. Okay, so maybe we got some trouble. Okay, we actually did get the shield, but if we can't get Weed Whacker in there to actually freeze him, then it's not much good. Okay, we managed to knock him back. We're doing a little damage to him. He's not killing us. He's killing some of us, obviously, but not all of us. Okay, you know what, sad guys? Can Can can't help here because it just takes too long to attack. But the slime is helping. I think we're gonna be okay. I just realized that Fiend Cat cannot do anything. So who's actually doing stuff is the question. The wave attack helps. Pizza? Pizza? Okay. Nice work. I feel like we should just grab Fonoa now because he's gonna help us, all right? I mean, he can do a lot of stuff, guys. Don't even ask me what he can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look and see, just so we know. I'm really glad this is a thing now in the game. <laughs> he has massive damage versus everything and waves and surges don't matter. Long range area attack, kind of beautiful. 
Let's see it in action. Woo! Blast them, baby! And don't and don't die, by the way. Just in case you were thinking of doing that. Really satisfying to watch, guys. That's such a nice attack, honestly. I'm really happy I have this guy. Look at those shields just getting obliterated. Okay, there goes one, which is great. Fonoa got surged, but Fonoa can't actually get surged, so nothing happened. Okay, there we go. Look at that, another one bites the dust. This is going way better than the stream went, guys. Okay, some of the levels in the stream took me forever. And then I ended up having to just say, okay, fine, we'll do a little bit of a legend carry or a uber carry or whatever. I don't like having to do that all the time, okay? Beyond the haze. Three enemies. Uh, okay. That doesn't seem that bad. I feel like we could just beat it with what we got. YOLO, let's try it. Let's just save up a little money. Get pizza to hit that thing. Oh, pizza, watch it. There we go. Pizza to hit that thing, save us more money, and oh god, here they come. Okay, this could be bad. It's the the problem is these penguins. They they pack a punch, man. Especially when they get surgeon. I might have to get my my, my anti surge is going here. Guys, can we just do something, please? No. Can you even attack? Do you even? Bruh. Okay, so we need we need more range. Obviously, we could have maybe actually gotten our Uber out there. Okay, I think it might be nice if we had some surge immunity. I don't think we need to have like um, shield piercing all that much. The penguins aren't that big of a deal if we can actually get to them. But a little surge immunity might be nice. We have we have this as well for surge immunity. Um, might be good to have it here. Oh, and maybe we can use our new itty N here to attack the... Uh, the ostrich, I don't know if it will. Maybe maybe Doron instead? Yeah, okay, we'll try Doron instead, and if it doesn't work, I'll try uh, Itty N2. Okay, I wanna see Doron in action again. He's just, he's a lot of fun. Okay, so one thing we have to do is watch out for all the stuff coming. I know that the little black doge is coming this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out here, boom. And then we're just gonna wait, all right? Just gonna wait. Uh, let me see what things can actually attack here, okay? Pizza cannot. Pizza might be a waste of time. Here comes Doron! Woo! Bing! Nice, look at that, that's beautiful. Takes him a hot minute to come back again, but it's a fun little attack. Oh, here comes a surge, which is nice. Not that I like surges, but it means that we're at least doing some damage. Pretty sure we're gonna die to this ostrich, though. That is kind of a big deal, guys. The surge immunity we need, I think, I think we need even more of it, to be honest. Hmm, maybe we should just take out Fonoa. Maybe Fonoa should just go do his thing. Let's just see who else can evade Surge here, guys. I mean, Lil Lion can, Lil Dragon can, um, Gigando can, which is strong against Traitless, which isn't the best here. Itty can, massive damage to Relics. I think we'll try that instead of Doron. See if it makes any difference. Actually, we have to take out pizza. Pizza's not doing much here, guys. I'm wondering what else I can put in. Maybe maybe something to uh, to rush a little bit, like a bullet train. Oh, actually, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to get a housewife in here, because housewife just has such a such a great attack. It's got great range. Uh, maybe instead of beefcake. I don't know. Can we do that? No, we can't. Never mind. Forget it. Man, I feel like we have no time to actually get anything done before they come at us. Like, what are we supposed to do here? We're already dying, man. Come on. What what was that? I think we maybe Let's let's try stalling them. Crazy idea, I know. Also, you know what else is a crazy idea? Heaven Can Can kill the first doge because if Can Can kills the doge, we get extra money. We just level up one time and then boop. And now we almost have enough for Itty. So let's just stall a little bit. Can Can is useless here. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about that. And here comes you. Don't think you did the job there. Try again. Try again, come on! Uh, it's too strong. 
It's 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 too strong. Doron actually worked, but that doesn't. I don't even know what we need here, guys. Actually, Housewife works, but we still just very quickly run into this problem. What does the internet say? Oh, look, okay. This is the hardest stage in the sub chapter. You have barely any time to scrape up some cash before you are hit with waves of condemned pangs and am ost. Best way to beat the stage is using surge immune units, which can keep their ground during condemned pangs aftermath. Okay, that's interesting, guys. They actually recommend Itty or Doron here. I'm gonna try Gigando, considering I've already tried the other two. They also recommend Housewife, which I'm using, and Bullet Train. So I, I'm on the right track, but they, they have a lot more, uh, a lot more meat shields recommended. So we'll put in, we'll put in some more stuff, okay? Okay, they recommend Itty or Doron and Gigando, so, uh, I'm gonna go for Doron. Doron's cheaper, and it, it looked like he worked a little better. So, basically, we just need enough meat shields and uh, surge immunity to not get smoked. Don't smoke me. I'm gonna level up a little bit here, and there's Doron. Try and get something going here with him. Let's go. Beautiful. Now, how well can we actually defend ourselves here? Because, like, it doesn't seem like we'll be able to defend ourselves that well. Well, that was nice. That was good. Here comes Gigando! I hope this isn't a gigantic waste of time. <laughs> oh, God, no. Please stop hurting me. Okay, consider the following. This is the hardest stage in the chapter. Let's bring a rich cat. And I'll throw in a cat CPU in case I get lazy. I think I put Doron out a little too fast there, guys. Well, we did something. It actually did freeze him, so it's it's got a good freeze. Cat CPU, let's go. Uh, let's just hope that's good now. Sometimes all you need is a good cat CPU. Uh, I gotta take Can Can out though, guys. Can Can is not doing what it needs to do. Can Can can't really attack at all. Might be good to get a little extra money at one point, but like, that's it. Okay, well we're freezing the thing, which is great, but now we're like, we're out of. We're out of units, man. We gotta kill the rest of those pangs and fast. Okay, we're putting out a lot of meat shields here, guys. Here comes Doron as well. That's beautiful. When Doron freezes, life gets a little bit better, but not that good, apparently. So the one thing I'm not doing that they recommend is using Boulder Cat. I had Can Can in instead. No, I'm not gonna replace Can Can for Boulder Cat. I'm gonna put Neo Cutter in. I just, I like, I like Neo Cutter, okay? He's fun to watch. Speaking of which, I'm actually gonna bring this guy up a little bit. Just to level 40, 38 plus two. Uh, but I'm trying to, you know, get my good cats up to at least level 40. We'll try the same thing again, guys. But now we'll have something that might actually be able to do some damage instead of walking out and getting killed. Nobody likes just walking out and getting killed. Okay, here comes Doron. I thought he was gonna freeze. I, I thought I put him out a lot quicker than I did. I think I might have just hurt myself a little bit. I think I might have screwed it all up, guys. Screwed it all up. Or did I? Oh, go, go gadget cats. Let's go. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be doable, guys. Because we still have so much of this crap with the surges, but look what we did. Look what we did. I think it was something. Oh, Digando, look out! You get really close to stuff. Good surges, though, man. Those surges are beautiful. How can I make this even better? That is the question, because we, unless we win right now, it's gonna need to be better. Okay. Well, first of all, I could have done a better job stalling. I could have put the first Doron out quicker. And I could have a better, um, better cat cannon. Let's just put the Thunderbolt on. I like my Thunderbolt. Okay, how about this? How about I put out Fonoa again, and maybe we'll be all right. I feel like that could make a big difference. I took Cutter Cat back out again, because I don't know if he was actually doing anything. Okay, here comes Doron. Boom. Nice little freeze there, do a little damage. Good, good, good. Gigando. And I still need to click for a minute because we don't have enough money to save up for it. Well, I can put the CPU on and then keep on sending this stuff out, I guess. Well, hopefully, we'll get a little more money here. But I don't know. Oh, we were so close then. Come on. There we go. We got it. Come on, Fonoa! Shoot them! Okay, uh, I think this is working, guys. I think this is working really good. I think Fonoa is the GOAT. Okay, I didn't realize he was even going to be so good. I just wanted to get him back when I got him, you know. But now I'm realizing, actually, this guy's gonna be such a big help in Uncanny Legends, and then 
zero legends as well, probably. Or maybe we don't even win. I don't know. We'll see. We're trying. Boop. We're killing the pangs, guys. We're killing the pangs, and that's great. We're knocking them back. We got all this money. We're about to get another Gigando. I think it's gonna be okay. Come on, why is that thing still there? Why can't we just kill it? There we go, we killed it. Okay. Well, the ride is over, folks. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad that worked, guys. I feel like there could have been some sort of better way to deal with that ostrich, but it's really hard when you're trying to deal with the pangs as well. It's hard to get in there and actually do damage. Luckily, we had a housewife, among other things. And now we're moving on to border soil. Okay, this stage has red energy in it, which is the red hyena. It also has some really annoying uh, zombies. That's okay. The hyena ain't that big of a deal, unless there's a whole bunch of them, which there might be. I think I want like some knockback for that and then some good anti-zombie. Well, honestly, now would be a really great time to have Neo Cutter Cat out because he's anti-red. Gotta make sure we're good on the anti-zombie stuff because it can be a little tricky with that big old grave. Um, but I think, I don't even think Weed Whacker can get in there, so we'll go Shigong. We can do one more anti-red, so I'm thinking let's try, uh, Catly, because Catly can knock back red energy, I've, I've seen him do it. it. It wasn't the strat that actually worked when I was trying to beat it before, but I tried it, and it can do that, so we'll see if it might work better here. Now here comes a gorilla, which isn't fun, but we'll just save our money for now, and then, you know, when things get crazy, like when that stupid gorilla decides to tunnel under, underneath, Go ahead and start spamming. Don't know what's gonna be our main issue here. It might be the uh, the grave, it might be nothing. There goes the kangaroo. Come on, man, what are we doing? What are we doing? We need more we need more wave attacks. We're not, it's not the worst attempt ever, but we definitely need like, I don't know, more, more damage, I guess. If I had actually used Fonoa there, I probably would have done a really great job. But let's just take out the pirate and put in Can Can. I probably should have had Can Can in anyway. Okay, I got Fonoa out, guys. So that range is gonna make a big difference. I shouldn't feel too bad about using like Ubers, I guess. I mean, if you're this far in the game, you've probably got a ton of Ubers. You probably got a little something for everything. And it is kind of important to have them. So let's just hope we can get through it, okay? Where, why ain't I making no money? Where's my money at? Here's some money. Might be a little too late though. Nope, we're good. It's looking good now. No, you can't just use a single super powerful Uber to beat all these stages. Ha ha, Fonoa go brrrr. Silver Current is next guys, and it's got a lot of enemies in it. You know, it would have been a little nicer if those weren't such disgusting enemies, but they are. Let's get some nice anti-relics in here guys, since there's so many relics in this level. Grandmaster Cat, he's strong versus relics. Maybe we could use him to cheese the Baba. Guys, I have a feeling this isn't gonna work, but it'll be a fun first attempt, right? Hey buddy, what's up? There's the Baba, guys, so we might actually be able to do a little uh, wave cheese. We love some good wave cheese. Yes, we do. Okay, guys, that's, it's not working. It's definitely not working. Stop. Hey you, cut that out. Yeah, that's right. I made you stop for a minute. Um, hmm. Probably more waves, if anything. 20%, we were almost there. Well, I don't know if this is gonna work, guys, but we're gonna try Dark Laser in here because, you know, more wave attacks might mean more death. Maybe we do want to get rid of Baba. Maybe maybe we, maybe we that's a thing we're supposed to do. Problem is, if, if Baba absorbs all the damage that we're supposed to be giving to One Horn, then we won't be able to do anything to One Horn except for the waves. And it looks like Baba's in, like, the world's most awkward position here where we can't actually break it. That's kind of dumb. Stop that. Maybe let's try pizza. Pizza does have a wave, guys. Okay. Doesn't always activate, but it's pretty good when it does. Is there maybe a different barrier breaker we can use that might be a little more effective here? Well, this guy resists aliens and breaks barriers, so maybe we try him instead. It'd be nice if Can Can could uh, kill this doge here instead of something else killing it because that'll give us a bunch of money. And we could do this, and then get our guy going. If we had like done that with just Doron, and then let the Baba come, it might have been better. But if we can if we can do this, we'll be in good shape. The wave attacks are happening. 
We're getting cursed. Curse, curses aren't good. Oh, there we go. That's the good stuff. We get Doron out here now and tell that thing to stop a little bit. And if we can get the uh, the baseball guy now, and he can like break the barrier or something, we'll be good. If not, we might have to go back to Kitty of Liberty. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, and we have we have to defend against wave attacks ourselves now. Great. That's that's perfect. Well, one thing we could do is we could take out our uh, other eraser and get our little uh, our little mohawk guy because he he's resistant to waves, so he'll actually probably help here. Maybe a slapstick cats. Well, let's put a slapstick cats in here, and our uh, kitty of liberty. Okay, that's this is the strategy, guys. This is the one that's gonna work. Okay. Oh, hey, we actually got it, guys. We actually took him out. That could be good. Maybe it's bad, I don't know. I mean, now we're gonna get attacked a little more, but we'll be able to directly attack this guy, and he's dead. Oh, yeah, this is looking kind of bad now, guys. It was going pretty good. But now that we've got this wave attack, I think, I honestly think our best bet here is to actually have a wave blocker. This wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. I think the wave blocker would probably have allowed us to win there. Let's take out Itty, because it's expensive. And we'll put in our octopus. And now I feel like we can beat the level guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rich cat cat CPU it again. Okay, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? So don't forget, buy some more of these while they're on sale. Okay, it's a whole different ball game now, folks. A whole different ball game. All right, that's some good stuff. Cat CPU, let's go. All right. This this should do a pretty good job now, guys. I think this is uh, looking a lot better. That's not gonna last very long, trust me. Ha! <laughs> Okay, now we have a wave blocker. Look at the difference it makes, guys. It's amazing. Thank you, Octopus. You're the best. And just like that, here we are at Immortal Zenith. No continues. What's in here? Elder Beast Nala, apparently. I'm not gonna look at this one, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go in there myself. I wanna experience it firsthand. Sounds scary. Not gonna lie. Ooh, a bird? Don't mind if I do. Uh oh, come on, really? No, you're supposed to kill the... The bird is supposed to get killed by the can-can, and this uh, allows can-can to make a bunch of money. There we go, that was what I was trying to do. Nala, get your papa out of here! I don't know what a get your papa out of here even means, but don't. What is what is Nala doing, guys? Nothing? Are you doing something? You're acting sus, that's what you're doing. You're acting really sus. Like, are you are you even trying? Okay, they've sent out a freaking gorilla, guys. A gorilla. Who does that? Who sends out a gorilla? Let's go! Boom! Look at that! Doron is out here. Turning everyone into dust. Thank you, Doron. I really like this guy, okay? I didn't quite appreciate him until very recently. We might not actually beat this one, guys. I mean, we don't even have a specialized loadout. I literally just went in. I was like, yeah, it's cool. Let's just give it a try. And here we are, sort of holding our own. We were, anyway. And then this happened. And then this happened. Okay. Well, anyway, here's here's Nala. That's pretty cool. Uh, tell you, number one thing I want here is Fishman. For sure. I don't think we need an octopus. I don't think we need this. So let's get Fishman. Because Fishman is amazing. Also, guys, we're going to go for Ramen instead of Eraser here. Because Ramen is so much better against Angel's. And we need like one more thing. I actually kind of want to take a uh, mushroom cat because he's good against angels too. This this might go terribly, but we'll see. Fishman should be able to attack a lot more than some of these units. He's really fast. And uh, he'll help me whenever these birds come around, assuming I can actually hit the birds, which right now I can't. Okay, that's fine. I might need a little more help though. I don't know what the heck that was, but it didn't work so well. There he goes, then he died. Um. The birds. I feel like we need to get those birds killed. They give you a lot of money. I feel like every time I try this strategy, it goes poorly, but I'm gonna try knocking back Nala. I'm pretty sure it's possible. And if it works, we can open up the uh, the birds to get killed by Fishman. Can we knock it back? Can we do it? Certainly not working. It might be immune, guys. Oh, it's not immune. It ain't. And we actually, oh, we almost did it, guys. We almost, like, opened it up. But the bird is still there. Oh, we, we just killed the bird. And uh, it was with can cans. We got a bunch of money for it as well. Very nice. Okay, let's just get a little bit of everything here. 
would have put a cat CPU on it if I had known I was going to get so much monies. I think this is going pretty good. I'm actually going to get another Doron out here because Doron is just so much fun. Boop. And he didn't actually freeze at that time, but he did some damage. Okay, that surge is pretty nice. I feel like we can do one more nice Doron. Oh, actually, no, we got to get fish. Yes, there we go. Now we get the Doron out here. Wah! Freeze you for a minute, knock you back a little bit. You'll love to see it, folks. I feel like we just need a couple of good hits with Fishman and Can Can now, and we'll be done. Actually, there we go. Get another Doron out here, and then rush in the Fishman to the Can Cans, and a boom! We did it. Very nice. Didn't even need my Rich Cat for this one, man. All right. I didn't even take any Ubers with me, guys. Are you proud of me or not? Smash the like button if you're proud of me for not taking any friggin' Ubers with me. Okay, folks. It's over. That was like... That was like chapter 43 of Uncanny Legends, guys. There's five chapters left and I'm gonna be done Uncanny Legends. And then there's zero legends. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, first clear reward, yay. And... Did you really? Did you really just do that to me? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have done that to me, right? Give me my prize. Thank you. Not a problem, hey -o. All right. Oh, level up. Your Enigma decoding level is now nine. You can now discover even rarer Enigmas. Wow. Okay. Well, first of all, guys, let's go ahead and get that Meow medal. Well, I mean, we already have it. I want to look at it, okay? Because that was a... Uh, a doozy of an accomplishment. There's only one left in the legends, okay? We almost got them all. Boom. And now let's take a look at our brand new unit. Elder Beast Nala. After witnessing the power of the cats, decided to join their cause. Smites interlopers with purifying lightning. Strong versus relic with chance to weaken. Okay, well you were freezing us, I'm pretty sure. So like, come on. Well, let's see why you become. Let's see who you really are. Storm Beast Nala, a benevolent being wishing for harmony between all creatures, cleansing evildoers with sacred thunderbolts. Strong versus relic with a chance to weaken. Okay, so you didn't change nothing? Probably got a little stronger, right? Or it's one of those things where it means nothing. There it is. Honestly, I mean, besides for the fact that there's like no pixels on this thing, I, th I think I like it more than the, um, than the relic version. It looks cooler. I like the lightning and the yellow and whatnot. And then you just get a bigger horn. Always a good idea. And apparently there's also a true form for this one, guys. I didn't know that. Wing! That's fun. Kind of reminds me of uh, Cat God in a way. All right, guys, there you go. Another chapter of Uncanny Legends complete. Another legend unit acquired. And now we're just a few chapters away from the end of Uncanny Legends. This is exciting. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna check out another one of my videos now,